here in the UCLA laboratory of Professor Stephen Clark, Director of the Molecular Biology Institute, Professor of Chemistry and Biochemistry, with Dr. Clark and one of his exceptional graduate students, Tani Petrosian. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. And thank you. So I want to ask you first about your research. I know you're interested in proteins. Tell us a little bit about how and why you got interested in proteins, why you're interested in the functions of proteins. Well, discovering the functions of proteins tell us exactly what these proteins do and why they're important. So that's the first and foremost reason why we look for the functions of proteins. In 2000, uh, there was a huge project, the Human Genome Project, that was um, completed. At least the first stages of it was completed. What it revealed to the public was basically the list of all proteins and all genes in our body and what exactly they are. It still wasn't known exactly what these proteins and what these genes do and what they're responsible for. So I, my job was to go in there and try to find if any of these genes encode for proteins that are methyltransferases. So what methyltransferases do are there a particular type of proteins that are responsible for taking this tiny little molecule methyl group and transferring them onto these larger molecules such as DNA or RNA or proteins, lipids, small molecules. So for instance, there's one methyltransferase, the catechol O methyltransferase, that's really important in degrading estrogen. And so if that protein is not working properly, then estrogen cannot be degraded in the body. And now there's some studies that are coming out that are um, showing if this methyltransferase is not active, then perhaps it can lead to breast cancer due to the increase of estrogen in the body. Are you bringing together different branches of science to do your research? And if so, can you tell us how you're doing that? Yeah, definitely. My research is really, I think it's pretty unique in that it's a hybrid of uh, bioinformatics, computer science, uh, chemistry, just real knowledge of chemistry and physical chemistry, and biology and biochemistry in it. And it puts that all together. Now you've been working in this very laboratory for a number of years. How's it been? How's it been being at UCLA working with Professor Clark? I was here as an undergrad and I didn't want to leave. So I stayed. And I was lucky enough to find myself in Professor Clark's laboratory because I don't think I could have really had the freedom that I did to explore all the different branches of sciences and use it to apply to such a really important question if I, if I weren't in this laboratory. And what are some of the lessons you've learned here? You were saying before that Professor Clark taught you lessons about perseverance and not to get discouraged when things aren't going well. Absolutely. I think by nature I'm a little bit impatient and I'm you know, which is, uh, no one's perfect, right? And Professor Clark is, is an angel. He's helped me learn that I can't find the answers right away. And, you know, a PhD test takes several, several years, and there's a reason why. And just mm -hmm. keeping at it and keeping persistent. And, and luckily, I'm pretty stubborn. So I just <laughs> I took his advice, and I just kind of calmed down throughout, throughout uh, several of the years of my PhD and just try to um, keep a clear mind and a positive attitude and hmm. any sort of milestone or any sort of discovery is, is should be celebrated. And I think that's what Professor Clark really um, helped me realize. Well, you know, we talk about students, we talk about professors training students, and that happens. But for exceptional students, the students basically bring it back and they train you. And so Tanya's been on the interface, and on interfaces of biology, chemistry, mathematics, computer science. And most of those areas are not in my expertise. And so it took someone like Tanya with both the, the brilliance, okay, intellectually, but also I think just the energy and the enthusiasm. So when I'm reading you know, these things, I say, Tanya, how does that work? She tells me. And so I think that's what, when it's great. So she became a colleague very quickly. And that's exactly what you want in students. The world, I think, is open to her. And it's wonderful to see. Tanya, what advice would you have to a young student who has some interest in science about pursuing science? That's a really good question. I would have to say, come in with an open mind and be really humble. I think that's really important because and you can- work hard. And work, oh yeah, definitely work hard. Yeah. Dr. Clark, Tanya, thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you for having us.